Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosive One Junction, the man on the stage. I am. And we're playing that Madden 21 with the, wait, we the Raiders? Uh, no, we're the Chiefs. I forgot who I was, too. We played too many teams. <laughs> <laughs> we're the Chiefs? That's not the the racist ones, right? No, those, that's okay because okay. It's, a, it's a prominently positive aspect of Indian <laughs> culture. That's what they'll say. <laughs> Chiefs are like they're like, like Chiefs are the good ones. Let's like really yeah. come on. Like the the Chinese doctors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> The uh, sneeze. Trying to go? Oh, Sorry. because it's... Yeah, because everybody in Austin's always like, dude, I just got back from Indonesia. Uh, dude, I wonder dude. what they're talking about. Oh, no. They're like, just got back. Miss the... Going out. People, but uh, like... The hipsters. People that like, want to... About what you're doing. No, I, you're okay. Always that. It's because of, like... They're kind of like trying to flex, like, how conscious... Consciousness? Each... Just the Tibetan children. I'm like from places to end it to the shelter straight and look how shiny <laughs> exactly i always gotta hear about how they nurse this dog from a freaking bean to, to a f he didn't have any legs he grew these legs <laughs> since i had him actually i made them at my mom owned raft shop so we <laughs> made my mom does a consignment shop where she makes artes artesian crafts exactly like dog le dog legs are from antique in what? In Dubai, I met Aylesman and oh. he sold me some mahogany sticks and we carved them into dog limbs. Yeah, so now they're his legs now, so you know. And then planted the wood and it grew, it grew dog limbs. Did you know that the Pope himself actually blessed this wood before it came over? <laughs> the tape wrapped around the bottom of this is made from the, to the Pope's old garb that he used to, he, he did seven Aries on uh, Jesus. Yeah, so it's uh, it's biodegradable because of that. So that's good. Yeah. It They're cool, dude. Cool. Okay, so look. Of some people look at religion that or a group of individuals, multiple individuals who have left a sour taste of religion in my mind. If they're feeding the hungry, if they're clothing the sick, if they're giving uh, or whatever, right. then they're doing the wrong. And they're essentially There's nothing with the message. There's just a few people who kind of ruin it and ruin the ideal of it. I feel the same way with that hipster speak, where it's like <sighs> indigent. <laughs> the difference between like, You're like me off, you know, like dude. I went, I went to uh, London, and I went to Scotland. How many of them MFers did I tell about my trip? I don't None. know. You should that. Like I met up <laughs> like the Patriots back. This is a prime example of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I went out. There was a girl I met playing volleyball one time, and she was a Patriots fan too. And she was like, hey, this Patriots bar is the, the Patriots bar. You know, if you want to go somewhere where all the fans are watching the game. And I'm like, okay, cool. I went and hung out with her a couple times and watched games. And then there was like a playoff game. And I went out and met her and some of her other friends were there. And like, I met this dude. And literally within 30 seconds of meeting him, he was telling me about his travels. And I was like... Bro, I don't know you. I don't care. I think that, like, in their mind, I spent that much money to travel there. I'm telling people about it. It's a story. Yeah, I guess. I guess. But, like, somebody you've known for 30 seconds? Like, what if what if I was like, dude, I hate traveling. I think other countries are stupid. What do I want to hear about Iceland for? You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, let's keep topical, my bro. Right, like, why don't you talk about watching a football game? Say, yeah. dude, a key points, dude. Yeah, what's next? You gonna tell me about that mole on your left butt cheek? Yeah, he's like, oh, you know, last weekend I had my left testicle removed, you know? It was very... Like, honestly, John, if I had my ball removed, I'd probably want to tell somebody about it. A stranger that you just met? I, oh, you wouldn't do that. Hey, it'd be fun. You tell the guy, you tell the bouncer at the bar five minutes after you get, be like, dude, you got one nut? I got one nut, dude. <laughs> That's because you're gonna social engineer something about, Is like, that? a one nut, a one nut friend zone is that wait a minute wait are you looking for somebody to have a connection with because i only have one testicle <coughs> oh dude, I'm on the, sad no. do you think i am no no i do how sad do you think i am but no i would i would tell somebody about that i don't know you know about kinda, your balls yeah kind of got to get it out there in the sphere it's a good icebreaker yeah but at last i have two so I can't can't fall back on that one. You could just make that up, cause no guy's ever gonna check it. I mean, you could function normally with just one, right? 
Yeah, dude, people, that happens all the time, I think. You I get like a lump, you get damaged. I think two, one, right? Is that, is that right? why he went by Tupac and we had one? No, that is not why. Why would he do that? doesn't even make sense. It's a bad no. He wants everyone to know he has two, but he doesn't. It's a bad, it doesn't even doesn't even work. It doesn't, co- it's a, as a joke, I get it. Like, there's a joke in there. That wasn't it. He should have been called one Pac, but he, oh, I, I, yeah, you're, you're, you're on along the lines. I'm a good joke. No, that's fine. Guy. But no, um, I think that's true. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Talking, spreading rumors about a dead man. What are you talking heard Abraham about? Lincoln had seven toes. Yeah, he probably did. Uh, <laughs> frostbite to be. He was a goddamn commie, after all. What, uh, Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> yeah. He was, what? <laughs> he was a communist, Jonas. I'm just making this up. I was going to say, he, I thought he, like, freed the slaves and, like, did What's all sorts of really important <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I was gonna say, he doesn't sound very communist to me. I want to know, like, what's your limitations for making fun of deceased person? Because nobody, like, I get canceled the, for making the fun of Abraham. Limitations is zero because there's no laws against it. So immediately, dude. No, I mean, of, there's the court of public opinion. Oh, which, that one. Of which laws? Oh, are, dude, it doesn't matter. It could be ten minutes. It could be four hundred and seventy years, dude. Mm, if somebody wants to, Abraham Lincoln, they'll be like. Look at this guy's Twitter. 72 years ago, he made an insensitive comment about home. You dug through 472,000 tweets to find one one instance of him saying something bad about a gay man? On uh, well, 72 years ago, the internet didn't exist, Jonas. Hole in your story. Yeah, dude, I'm a liar. Now, if I had said some crazy insensitive stuff 10 years ago, you're right. The statute of limitation for the court of public opinion. As long as they want it to be. But like I said, Lincoln, no, yeah, F cage. You can make 9 11. No, you can't. Not in my house. <laughs> no, dude. Devil. We are right. Devil. <laughs> Jonas? What? The devil? What? The devil, the devil is everywhere. All Not right. <laughs> Not today, Satan. It nipped him in the tip. No, you can't make 9-11 jokes. You can, but you know, it's Jeffrey Epstein jokes. But I mean, I guess, you know. I mean, when a man didn't kill himself, I mean, you gotta, you gotta figure it out. Dude. I'm just trying to figure out, is it like 10 years, 15 years? Uh, I think it depends on your level of sensitivity. Yeah, like uh, there's there's a couple people that are popping into mind. I'm like, I'm not taking that chance. Yeah, I'm dude, not, I'm I mean, not. Like, well, here's about Abraham Lincoln. And it was someone who hated him. Five minutes after he's dead's fine. Tell that joke to his mama in five years, she's still going to be sad. Tell it to her in 10 years, she's still going to be sad. Tell her that in 15 years, she's still going to be sad. It's all about perspective and who, who your audience is. I mean, yes, there's that. But it's still a democracy when it comes to the, the, the court of popular. If half off at you, 15% range. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't ever. I mean, you can't expect everyone to like you. But if you get oh, more than like, if more than half don't like you, then you're in point. trouble. So if I make a JFK joke, like I lose that. I'm fine with that. That's that's under five percent of the people. That's a lot. They have some power, dude. You want the power for people on your side. What you want to do is make a uh, Lee Harvey Oswald joke. Uh, I don't know what he he's the one who assassinated him. I'm yeah. guessing. You also can make a Jack Ruby joke. He was the one that killed Lee Harvey Oswald in police custody as he was getting taken away. Oh, the let me guess the camera's malfunctioned. No, oh, no, no. It was on. Shot him in the head. Oh. Because, because there was more to that. He was getting taken away, and they knew he was like, you know, shot. That used to happen a lot more than it does anymore, man. You know that? Like, uh, I was just watching something on TV the other day where it was talking about a guy who like put his kid in karate school and then like the karate instructor was like doing inappropriate things with the with the kid and then he like got the kid to run away with him like, some what the hell to like i don't know if they were dating or whatever they were in a relationship but just inappropriate of them was not <laughs> of age and the other was a full-grown man and like uh they were bringing a the guy they extradited him back to the to the state and like the guy meets him in the in the airport and just like offs the guy while he's being transported in police custody. Like his, his the guy's dad. The yeah, kid. the guy, the kid's dad. <laughs> Everybody's like flipping out. Dude only got like protection for it. He what? He murdered the, someone. He in, off in the public? guy in public and got like ten years probation. 
He was like, yo, if it was your kid, what would you do? And that's facts. That's facts, Jonas. That's facts. Because, man, if I had a, a daughter or a son. And I, someone, like, took them oh, away. Oh, from- man. Mmm. Mmm, Jonas. Stop. I, feel you, dude. I would be. Like a bad time. Like, yeah, I, I don't deal well with, with, with anger, which is why I, I choose not to. Not to exi- <laughs> I choose not to exhibit it. I choose not to exhibit my <laughs> anger. And I'm, I'd like to say I'm in control of my emotion to a certain extent. But, yo, if something sets me off like that, you've heard somebody I love, something especially like a daughter or a son, yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's you're over. Like, uh, there's, no, there's no trying to. You know what I would like? Uh, Get sacked more. A cheesecake? I feel like I'm running like a goddamn Forrest Gump. I would like a cheesecake, blueberry cheesecake. Oh, interesting. Chocolate swirl. What kind of glaze you gonna put on that? Uh, ooh, butter, butter, butter scotch, butter scooch. A blueberry cheesecake with butterscotch glaze? Yeah. Oh, look at this little guy, dude. And maybe like a big freaking lobster tail. On the side, maybe like just give me like four lobster tails. Four lobster tails with a butterscotch blueberry cheesecake. Yeah, and a nice tall glass of bleach. Ooh, <laughs> a little bit of bleach <laughs> on it <laughs> for dessert. No, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's because you're getting rid of COVID, right? Because that's <laughs> how you. <laughs> yeah, you can call bleach, that. Dude. <laughs> yeah, you you said life wrong. Um. That was a joke. Uh, let's, let's go, Jonas. Well, how, how's, how's the game going, I, uh, man? I'm Woo! about to try to kick a game-winning field goal. That's why I got quiet. No, it's fine, dude. You're allowed to. Did you win? Not yet. We're going to win right here. Here it comes. Do, 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 do. when they freeze me like that. Dude, that is just stupid. Oh! You did it at the victory bell, dude. Good stuff, Joni. Oh. God damn it. I tried to freeze him, and all that happened was he caught fire. Where's my hair gel? Yeah, dude, I have some. So, but, uh, yeah, dude, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Uh, go see him on Twitch. TNT Dynamite. I'm on single day at AM Central at TNT. D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town. If you're not there, you're square. I hate squares. Yeah, and I know too. For Jonas, to you too. catch you on the next one. We are. Oh, they fall to defeat for the second time this season.